good morning. Day three starting. Um, conditions are crazy. Shout out to Colorado Springs, to Big Agnes. This tent is still standing. It has been like this, or worse, the whole night. Time to uh, cook some tea and coffee. Get on the trail. There's nothing like a hot cup of tea in the morning, or coffee. So, why don't you like your coffee? Please. <laughs> Give it to me. It's long. It's cold. Mm. There you go. Hey, there's another shout out I want to do. This shout out goes to Garmin. I'm not anyway sponsored by Garmin or uh, InReach, but I have to tell you something, one thing. I've been always thinking that these machines are only for emergencies. There is a big SOS button on the side that if the shit hits the fan, you can call some help. What I did this time, uh, of course, it's also tracking um, how long do you walk. And, like I told you, we have done now 30 kilometers all together. What else this can do is, you can order uh, a weather forecast with this. And in the conditions where you don't have like a mobile phone connection for two days or something, you don't know how the weather will be here. Uh, the one big factor is the wind. And I could order myself um, one day, 24 hours forecast, or now I did like uh, three days forecast. And it's a good thing to have. And uh, after two days, I'm still having like 80% of uh, battery left, even though it's tracking all the time. So I recommend you, if you have to go in the conditions where you might be in uh, situation where you don't have cell phone reception uh, and you might need some help. I can recommend you. We start to pack. The sun is getting up. The morning tea, morning coffee was a total game changer. Uh, now I think we can do it. So let's go. We left. The on the soil no man has stood before it's difficult to say how far is something here because what what seems to be far is really close there you go there's your souvenir You really wanna walk 
40 kilometers with that. Leave it here, we come back the same way. <laughs> hey, really? Leave it here, leave it here. You know, leave only footprints, take only pictures. That's how it's called. Yes, everything here seems far away, is close, but everything here seems close, is far away. Sometimes it's fooling your brain. So we go over the river in Lapland. <laughs> Guys, I didn't want to tell you the real reason why we came here. A German military airplane shot down by a Russian fighter during the Second World War. Oh yeah!
Maybe came down 80 years ago. Am I on the no step area now? Or am I on the step here area? I don't know. Wow. <laughs> Woo! The alloy weights nothing. This is like one of the tanks. Yläpulmankijärvi, Kammi. There's the bathroom. And here is Kammi. Please don't use too much firewood and take your trash with you. That's what we will do. Let's make lunch. Here we are inside the kammi. Actually it's Adolfin kammi, Adolf's kammi. And they call this Adolf's kammi because I think that the pilot of the airplane, we just saw earlier, uh, he's coming here as a ghost. Because this is his chair. Someone took a pilot chair from the Junkers and brought it here. And this is Adolf's. Probably he comes here every night, so we're not going to spend a night here. But yeah, this is how Kammi is. And a small oven in the corner. So you can also come here when it's a little bit chilly and you can heat. But we are now cooking our lunch. Today's lunch is what? Tell me. Goulash soup. I think others would like it. What else? Goulash soup is not enough for me. And the fish, the great one. Maybe you have to tell something about it. Something here. Did you took one uh, can of fish cock? Yes. Mm, that we will Awesome. Have. And that's now. really heavy. That's really heavy, so it's good that we are eating it now. That we will have. Yes. Right. And, some bread. and some bread. Well, actually, this fish cock is having bread already yeah. inside. So let's, see. So let's eat but that and be happy. Have, it's always good to have goulash soup with bread. Let's take it all. We need we need liquid. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. 
and some fish cock to go with that from Kale Kale. You can see fish cock. Bread is up and down, I guess. I think I think bread is yeah. Bread is around and in the middle in the, in the there middle, is yeah. fish. Between small town. Mm. And this is goulash, also very, very, very good. Mm -hmm. uh, we were just uh, planning to leave the Kammi and it started to rain. Could it started to rain while we were still here because we could just come in and now the sun is shining again. So let's go. Let's go. Auf Wiedersehen! Jetzt muss ich gehen. <laughs> Biggest waterfall I have seen in Finland. Uh, we just had some uh, high octane fuel for the machine. Uh, energy. Gel. No problem. Let's see. We had. We just have to go there. Go west. Time is peaceful. Okay, we are not yet by the camp place where we started this morning, but maybe we are one or two kilometers from there. This morning we went past that lake from the right side and now we came a little bit lower and that was a little bit difficult to navigate. But here we are, we find the road. The road is here. Now it's easy. Quite a fight again. There's such a wind outside. And immediately when we got the tent standing, it started to rain. Like yesterday. Yeah. And we are about in the same place like yesterday, just we are on the other side now. It's a lot colder than last night. But we have enough clothes and we have good sleeping bags, so gonna be okay. Today we did 16 kilometers. It was altogether 40 kilometers to the Tante Yu from the beginning. So it will be 80 altogether, give or take. Oh, I'm having here reindeer stew. Mm. That's not mmm. -mm. The mmm -mm is Tabasco, which I actually found. I've been carrying all the 40 kilometers this bottle of Asco. So now it's going to be extra, extra good. Shake it. And close the lid. How long we should wait? Eight minutes. Well, we wait five. A few minutes later. No knee. Many of you guys there, you, uh, you are also going out and going camping and hiking and all this funky stuff. If you come to the northernmost place in Finland uh, and you want to do some hiking like we are now, 80 kilometers, uh, you know, just with the tent. Take a four uh, season tent. Uh, I must say this uh, this uh, Tiger War UL3 is a good tent, but for these conditions almost not enough. It's blowing everywhere and so on. But it's nice light. That's really a good and big plus for this tent. We are and Lingonberry just went to get uh, water from the nearby pond or from the small lake and we drink that water without uh, any filtering. Of course for the for the meals, for the tea, for the coffee, we, we cook the water but uh, while we are 
on the trail, we are drinking directly. No problems whatsoever in that. Weather forecast for tomorrow says that it's going to be 2 degrees Celsius during the night. And with the wind chill, it will be like minus 6 somewhere there where we are. And we are planning of uh, staying here until 10 o'clock, which is quite late for us. Because from 8 to 10 it will rain, says my weather forecast. So uh, it will be a little bit uh, late start for tomorrow, but then we have more time for a really good breakfast. And since Lingenberry just knock, knock. comes inside knock, knock. with water, then we are ready. And I will take my vitamin I now. I know I will be out for the next uh, 10 to 12 hours, I would say. See you tomorrow morning. Ciao.